It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to determine what is the value of x in three different ways when we look at an equation with a value being cubed. Here's our question today. We're asked to consider this equation, x cubed equals 27. Which of the following values of x makes the equation true? And we're given four answer choices to choose from. Here's where you pause the video, do your best work, and then come back to see mine. Good luck. Welcome back. So here we want to determine what value of x from these choices will make this equation true. So we're going to do this in three different ways. Here's the first way to look at this. x cubed could be written as x multiplied by x multiplied by x. So this exponent says take your base and multiply it by itself three times. So we know that a value multiplied by itself three times needs to be equivalent to 27. So let's rewrite 27 as a product of the same factor three times. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. So this is equivalent to this. So these all three of these are equivalent equations. So we know that if x times x times x is equal to x times 3 times 3, then we can say that x is equal to 3. So 3 cubed is equal to 27. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. Another way to look at this is we can say rewrite 27 as a power with an exponent of 3. So x cubed base of x exponent 3. This power, base of 3, exponent of 3. 3 cubed is 27. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. This product, written as a power, is 3 cubed. So we know that if they have the same exponent, then the bases need to be equal as well. So that means that x is equal to 3. Same answer. And the third way you could look at this is we could find the cube root. So the inverse of cubing is cube root. So if I find the cube root of each side, we can look at this as the cube root of x cubed is equal to the cube root of 3 cubed because 27 is equivalent to 3 cubed. And really what we're doing is we want to find three of the same factors. The cube root of x cubed is x and the cube root of 3 cubed is 3. So there we have an answer of 3. 3 is the only value of x that will make this equation true. Thanks for joining me to learn three ways to find the value of an x in an equation with a power of x cubed. That's the magic of math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you come back soon, and don't forget to subscribe.